low key, I've been slacking on these videos, man. I've been slacking. Uh, I just started making them, and I'm already slacking, yo. So uh, I'm gonna be on top of my game. I'm gonna be on my, on top of my game for sure, you know. Uh, just been slacking, going through some shit, uh, you know, trying to find a new job, um, you know, cars. Just sold my Alexis today, you know. Not the one to flex, but you see the blues, you see the blues. It's blues. Uh, you know, and, and, I, and now that I'm not working and I, I really got some time on my hand, I'm at the crib and shit, I feel like I really need to be on top of my game with these videos, you know, because there's a lot of people out there that need some advice. They they Maybe they're in a, in a situation and they just need to hear what I have to say, you know. And I know my family watches these videos, I, uh, my friends do. So I appreciate y'all for supporting. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for y'all, I'm doing it for myself. I'm, I'm, I just want, I have things to say, like I said, my first video, to, just to put out there, because I know it's, there's things people need to hear, to, to, to learn. And, and you know, even at the same time, I learn about myself when I watch these videos, what I say, what I can improve on, you know, those type of things, it, it really, it helps me as a person. I, I, you know, I don't really get to talk to the, about these things how I do, you know, to someone. I don't really have that person. You know, I got my girl, but not all, every day we're going into in-depth conversations, you know. And when, and when you don't talk about those things or you, um, you like, say, say you're a professional baseball player. And then you stop playing baseball. You don't do the training. You don't do the workouts. You you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose those those skills and whatnot you learn because you don't put them to test every day. You know, same with working out. Those muscles, some of your muscles are gonna go get weaker and weaker because you don't use them. You know, the same with your brain. You gotta keep using those muscles in your brain so it stays strong. You know. Yeah, I want to talk about how social media has helped me with my relationships. And, um, you know, me and my girl got together and, and whatnot, and I was on Instagram all the time. I was making videos, posting every day, this and that, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. Um, but, you know, uh, as a man, we have our, like, men have their temptations, you know? And at, at my age, you don't really take relationships seriously, especially if your parents are divorced. You know, you don't you don't ever see yourself get into a relationship. You know, when you're when you're when you have a divorced parents, you're always like, man, I'm never gonna get married. You know, so when you're in a relationship like that, like that, um, it's hard. It's hard to um, to stay together and keep going and keep fighting and staying strong. You know what I mean? Uh, you 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 got to be on top of your A game, for real. Compromise and whatnot. Uh, and 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 I'm bringing up that social media stuff because you, it leads into temptations to talk to other people, to talk, to talk to other women because you're not taking you're not taking this person seriously, or you know it's always gonna end up how it always ends up, break up or this and that, you know, heart damage, or you know you know what I mean, loyalty stabbed in the back. And, and people, people, um, they don't want to feel, they don't want to put themselves in that position and feel, feel like that again. So, you know, the hurt they caused, they hurt the hurt they caused themselves. They, they, they put onto other people. You know. So that's kind of where I was at, and you know, and it started having a problem with my girl. You know, with um, talking to other girls. She just felt like I wasn't respecting her or taking her seriously or this relationship seriously, um, you know? And it's hard too, it's really hard because you have those people, they're all, they're available to you. Uh, you know, you can hit them up whenever you want to, you can do whatever, you can go party, you can go drink, smoke, be with the guys and whatever, but you know, that's, it all feeds, it all feeds into something negative, you know? It, it doesn't work in, to benefit you in your relationship. You know, spend time, you gotta spend time. Time is, you know, quality time with your girl, with your other, you know? Especially females, they want you to spend as much time 
with them as possible. And you got to choose. You really got to. You really got to choose. Do I want to spend time with the guys and party and smoke and drink and do this and that, or do I want to take uh, have a serious relationship with the person of my dreams, last forever, work things out, or do I just want to chill with the guys? You know, fight. Um, you know, like, you know how shit turns out with with niggas. Like, bro, that shit always goes backwards, or some niggas backdoor or backstabbing you it's all type it's all you got to think what path do you want to go on which road do you want to choose because trust me one road is long term the other road is short term just going in circles going in circles you know i chose the the road with my girl and honestly it's 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 helped me become a better person doing than who i was than who i'll ever be if i chose that other road you know what i mean so I'm 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 proud to say I'm happy I'm happy where I'm at I'm happy with my girl you know everything is good and, and sometimes things don't work out but you you got to you got to find compromise you got to work things out otherwise you you back to square one you you got I got to go move back in with my mom and this and that and start over and man all that breakup shit is is better to work it out because you, you know deep down you're you, this is the person you want to be with whether it's your friend your girlfriend your whoever it is you know I want I, I like this person having this person around we benefit each other I'm gonna do whatever it takes to keep it that way make sure you're on that type of time with everybody around you if not get rid of them quick uh, research that says. If you're a married couple and you and your friends and your friends with other married couple and they end up getting diver, divorced, you're seventy five percent likely to become divorced with your partner within a year. So I I, I want y'all to think like why that is, you know? Why does that happen? Because really what it is, if, if someone in your circle gets a divorce, you're, you're thinking like, oh, why'd you get divorced? Oh, well, this and that and this. Oh, my girl does that too. Then you start thinking, you know, other people get into your head is what I'm trying to say. You know, it starts getting into your head. You start questioning yourself. You, you, you know, like this person got a divorce and why am I just dealing with this shit when I can, you know? These things are like uh, contagious, you know, people's vibes and energy, those things are contagious, you know, just like someone getting divorced, it's going to, it's going to have an effect on, on your relationship if you're, if they're in your circle, you know what I mean? Like if I was, if I was, if, if I was to grab a Benz, you know, my, my, my boy might want to grab a Benz too, you know, because he sees what it's like, you know, they say even, even stress, even stress is contagious too, because when you uh when you start stressing you your you your body produces um cortisol correct me if I'm wrong it's it's uh some type of chemical and uh it leaks out in your sweat so when you start sweating it, it, and then it goes into the uh particles go into the air and and it, and it it touches other people and it's contagious I don't know y'all got to do your research on that uh but it's 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 a true it's true you know stress, divorce, these type of things that are growing around in your life and other people's lives, but they might be in your circle, it's going to, it's going to impact you. So you got to make sure you have you you have a really tight circle. You know, things are things are going good, you know, even if one person say they're in the in the position of going breaking up or getting a divorce or parting ways, whatever it may be, you got to make sure that's the best decision for them. And and, and what even if it's whatever it is, you got to make sure it doesn't affect you in a negative way. You know, because my my guy my boy gets a Benz. I'm going to I'm I'm not going to get a Benz cuz I want to be like him cuz I copy him cuz I see what it's like to have one now I want one. That's usually how it goes, but you got to just think. You got to be smart with how, with what you with your choices in life, you know what I mean? You got to be smart with the way you with, with what you say, how you move cuz it's contagious. Negative energy, bad energy, whatever it is, it's all contagious. You got to put out positive vibes, and positive vibes will come back to you. Look it up, y'all. 75% of people 
who get a divorce, their their friends or family, wh whoever is married, they most likely get a divorce in in, in a year. Seventy five percent. Think about that. Most most people in, in the world are sheep. They're gonna follow. They're gonna follow. It's all gonna lead down. It's it's these distractions. It's you know really it's the devil distracting you from 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 your your true purpose and and, and that is to be God's servant. But I'm not gonna get into to all that right now. You know, <clears throat> that's a different topic. That's a different day. Make smart decisions. Choose the right path. It's all gonna play out for you in the end. They say the choices you made are what made you today. Let me say that again. The choices that you made in the past are what made you who you are today. Like that. Why I said, be peace, God bless you. I'm gonna see y'all soon.